So I'm Chris, and the way I came to know Jesus was quite unexpectedly. Me and my wife had kind of been tossing around the idea of coming to a church, yet it wasn't actually for the reason of getting to know God better or getting to know Jesus. It was just because COVID was kind of really hard on us. Isolation was a real thing. And so we just wanted to come immerse ourselves in a group of good people that we could kind of socialize with. And so my buddy Will had invited us to his church. And so we decided like, okay, we're going this Sunday. Like, let's do it. And we show up to church and little did we realize it was actually the wrong church. It was not Will's church, it was here, right? It was Beach Church. So we walked in and the lights dimmed and all of a sudden what I now realize was the Holy Spirit starting to work through me. The lights dimmed, the music started playing, and I just began to start crying. Just unexplainably, not good crying, not bad crying, just like, what is going on, right? The music was so incredibly powerful, right? I just didn't even understand what was going on. Pastor Jerry comes out and into his service on Ephesians, the discussion on Ephesians, I just started weeping again. It was really a gift. It was only the second time I've ever been to church. And so hearing that message about how God's grace and Jesus's grace is a gift and you don't have to earn it. It just like really hit hard, right? The Holy Spirit like helped me hear that and how it isn't a self-improvement plan, right? And that you're not trying to like work your way into heaven to offset all of the evil that you've potentially done, the sin and the fails. That's something I always really struggled with, right? Like how do I offset the fails and the sin of my youth with what good I can do later in life? And you know, that message came through like, you just have to accept the gift, just like any gift. All you have to do is reach out and accept it. Then the lights dim again and they start playing. And again, I just cry unexplainably. This time it's a cry of relief. It's a cry of happiness. It's a cry of joy. As we were walking out, I met um, another person I was meant to meet that day, uh, Mike Savini, right? And so I go up to the, uh, the little podium that they refer to in the services and I introduce myself to Mike and tell him, you know, this is the second time I've ever been to church. And I start explaining this story, right? I start telling that story to Mike and I'm crying again. My wife is crying again. Mike is crying, right? We're just like sharing this beautiful experience about the Holy Spirit and about Jesus and about God. It was quite transformative, uh, quite transformational, honestly. And so that day, Mike, you know, prompted me like, hey, do you want to place your faith in Jesus today, right? And so he walked me through that and I said, yes, like, let's do this. Since then, I have just continued to try to form that relationship with Jesus and accept that love and accept that grace. And I'm getting baptized to be more like Jesus and to take that next step in my faith.